So here we see the 12 by 12 pixel array. Uh, what we've done now, if I spin that around this way, uh, we've added a uh, sensor. This is the Bosch BNO055. It contains a three axis accelerometer, a three axis gyroscope, and a three axis uh, magnetometer. And it also contains an ARM Cortex uh, M0 processor, which it uses to perform sensor fusion. Because each sensor type has its own quirks. So an accelerometer is subject to noise from vibration, a gyroscope is subject to drift, a magnetometer is subject to the presence of metals and objects and fields. But if you take the information from each one, you can use that to cancel out the problems on the other ones. Uh, so the resulting sensor fusion gives you a much better signal. So what we've done, uh, the processor here, the Seed Unio XIO, is talking to our sensor breakout board, Bob, using a two-wire I2C bus. Uh, and we've got a very simple program running that detects tilt and uses it to control the ball as it rolls around the display. This is just a very simple test program. Uh, all we do is once the tilt passes a certain level we make the ball roll in that direction. What we can do in the future is start adding physics so the ball seems to exhibit inertia and acceleration uh, so when you tilt it, it starts off slow and speeds up, and also the amount of tilt would control the speed. We can start inventing different games, so we could have random food particles appearing, and we have to guide the pixel, the ball, to roll into the food particle and eat it, and thereby get points. And we could also have uh, random hole pixels, like red pixels appearing, and if we fall into, hit one of those, we fall through the hole and game over. So this is really just the start of a lot of experiments in the future.